I go run back to you. It's all for you, baby. I'm going nowhere. So first of all, I'd like to give you guys the full meaning of Jam, which is the Joint Admission Multiplication Board. I would like you guys to know that Jam is not really what it used to be back in those days anymore. Um, depending on what you see it as, because according to me, Jam is so more sophisticated this time around first of all we have to go from the profile code the nin the registration everything down is no more what it used to be like in a more sophisticated and tight way so during the time i wrote my own jam we were all expecting it to be as easy as it was during the other days the other years because jam it was easy all you had to do was go there put this, put that, there is no need for going to search or waiting for a number to appear on your phone, there was no such thing as that, but during our time, which was last year, that's 2021, Jam brought out this new technique of, so like that's not even where the real problem starts with, because first of all, you have to have a number, like a SIM, that you registered with your own name and everything. And when you get the same, you have to go and register NIN with the same. And then you have to wait for like one extra week before you can now get your original NIN copy with your NIN number on it. Then once you get it, you now have to send your your NIN number to 550. Is it like? No, you have to send your NIN number to 50019. And then they will now give you your profile code. And with that profile code, you will now be able to get your own registration number so these are the, like these are things that matter you have to have a number that is registered with your name you have to have a nin number you have to have a profile code before you could get your registration number and once you get your registration number you now have to use that registration number to get other things and now print out your examination slip and in that examination slip you will now see the list of uh, the center that you have, you will go to, the date that you have your exam on, the time that you have to take the exam, and your seat number. That's and also the the subject that you'll be taking on that day. So you will see all those things on the examination slip. So jam is approximately two hours. You have to spend two hours while writing the exam. So that was the problem. Most of us don't even have a phone number registered with our own information on it. So some had to go to register for the for a new um, number. Then they will now go to NIN um, center and do um, register the NIN and then now wait for an extra week to get the NIN and now send it to 50019 to get the profile code. So that's where the problem is. Most people it took most people a long time to get the NIN because during that time it was a time that NIN was like you know serious people were taking it serious the NIN center was so filled before you get if you get your NIN in five days you are so lucky so especially the students who needed it for their exam exam and registration so it was really really hard for them to get it so some waited for like two weeks so we waited for a week to get the NIN number and when they finally got it, another problem was the profile code. Like they told us, send your NIN to 50019 so that you'll be able to get your code, your profile code. And some of us sent, some of us didn't even get anything, some of us got, some of us nothing. Like if, if like 100% of us sent our NIN number to 50019 like 30 percent got the profile code and 70 percent didn't get the profile code so a lot of us keep sending and sending and sending and each message that you sent to the number takes 50 naira from your account so some of us wasted money on it some people wasted almost 500 naira sending and sending and sending and sending there was still nothing some wasted like almost 1000 plus um, the transportation fees of going and coming back, going and coming back, it was a real problem. So 
jam like even even i myself i i was among the unlucky ones <laughs> so like it was the day that the jam was supposed to close i had to go there i had to keep on trying 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 and i couldn't get anything like all hope was lost i was like okay so if i don't write it this year i'm going to have to write it next year like i was so frustrated i didn't know what else to do so i just went home so the next morning the news was that the jam has giving some student extra time two weeks um extra time to get their profile code and complete their registration and it was the upper week that it was the upper week that i got my my profile code and then we now used it to get our registration number so the only problem is getting your nin and getting your profile code to get your nin is hard and to get your profile code is also hard so that was the only problem we went through then we did our registration then after the registration we now got our original examination slip which said that uh, which showed us where we were supposed to go to the date the time our seat number so most of us were not taken to one place like that's how it's meant you are to be scattered around the um, region that you selected so most of us like we selected a region close to our house where we live so we are just scattered throughout different um jam examination centers in the town nobody like like where it was only like three people that went like me and two of my classmates that went to a particular center and like other centers you can only see one student from our school that is there so you will not don't uh, we were we were expecting like we knew that we we're not going to be taken to the pl same place but like at least we we're expecting like five or six people at the same place because we, most of us did our registration the same day but no that wasn't what happened we were being taken to different places i even got there late because uh, my exam was to start by 7 a.m in the morning and would end by 9 a.m in the morning again so I had to wake up around 4.30 and rush everything. I have not gone to that center before. I have not gone to that place before. It was a whole different part of the town that I have never been to. We took time to you know, go around the places, ask people whether this is the place, this is so so place. It was me and my other female friends, so it was just the two of us. We asked around places so we could get to the center to the exam center so we go to the exam center like around after seven maybe seven twenty something that's when we got to the exam center so the, so we were like we were thinking that maybe the only our time we have left is like maybe 17 minutes that's the only time we have left but surprising um, fortunately for us when we got there the exam hasn't even started so we were like early to the place because they were still organizing people doing um, or, um you know shaking of people people were still coming we came even early that was what i found out so we we stayed there and we did um they organized they organized us and we waited for like almost one hour to be short we started the exam by nine in the morning we were supposed to end the exam by 9. Instead, we started by 9 and we ended by 11. So you can see, <laughs> African time, there is a big problem with us, Africa, when it comes to time. So we were able to write our exam and come out without any problem, which I'm very thankful for because if I got late, I don't know what I could have done done because i'm this kind of person that i like being a little something just to familiarize myself with the environment and calm myself down because if i go to some place late especially if it's something that matters a lot like exam if i go later on exam i won't feel calm if that will be nervous and i'll be a lot of i'll be distracted i can't concentrate but i was happy that i got there on time so i familiarized myself with the environment i was able to calm down and think and and i did well and i'm happy that i 
I was able to write my exam. So after that, we came back home and that stuff. And the only thing that I had in common with my other classmates was that we all had our exam the same day, not just, but just not at the same place and not the same time. So it was on Monday, the 21st of June. Yeah, 21st of June. 2021 which was on monday so on monday there was like no single ss3 student in school because we all had our exam the same day so the ss3 class was empty we all had our exam the same day but most of us did not have it the same time and not at the same place but to cut it short we did well and the exam wasn't stressful a friend of mine actually was being told to go to a center and the center she went to was not working so they had to redirect her from that center to write the exam that day that was like really stressful and i was like if it was me i would just give up and say i'll wait for the next year <laughs> so that's all i have to say that jam is not it's not easy all you have to do is you have to have something that keeps you going something that motivates you that keeps you going yeah it's not easy but we all have to try so i'd like you guys to like this video comment below and subscribe to it and also do not forget to click on the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video so thank you guys please do comment tell me what you think is necessary what your own experience was like how was writing jams for you what you think was the best solution what i could have done maybe i could have gone earlier this Comment below. Thank you.